This video will show you how to set up the Dialog Systems RPG Builder integration. It just covers the integration setup steps. It doesn't cover the basic use of the Dialog System, which you can learn from the regular Dialog System video tutorials. I'm starting in a project in which I've imported only RPG Builder and the Dialog System. I've also created an empty folder named Game that we'll use later in this video. The first step is to import two Unity packages. The first is in Plugins Pixel Crushers Common Third Party Support, named RPG Builder Support. The second is in Dialog System Third Party Support. Import that one too. This integration will let you set up NPCs that can play dialogue system conversations or barks, including conversations that control quests, set up interactable objects that can play conversations or barks, access generally all RPG builder features inside your conversations, and use the dialogue system's quest system if you prefer to use that instead of RPG builders. Once it's imported, the next step is to create a new empty folder in Assets, Blink, Tools, RPG Builder, Resources, Database, named Dialog System NPC Templates, spelled and capitalized exactly like this. Next, in the Resources folder, Go into the Editor Data folder, Editor Categories, and inspect the AI asset. Assign the RPG Builder Editor Dialog System module to the Modules list. You can find it in Assets Pixel Crushers, Third Party Support, RPG Builder Support, Resources, Editor Data, Editor Entry Modules. Then close and reopen the RPG Builder window you'll see that there's a new Dialog System section under AI. Now we need to set up the main menu scene. Add the Dialog Manager RPG Builder prefab to the scene. This prefab is pre-configured for use with RPG Builder. You can also add a Dialog Manager to your gameplay scenes for quick playtesting in them too. I recommend dragging your instance of this Dialog Manager prefab into one of your own folders, like here, to create a prefab variant. That way, if you customize it, you won't lose your customizations if you import an update of the integration package. This prefab has a starter Dialog UI that's pre-configured for use with RPG Builder. In particular, it has an RPG Builder display panel component as does the pre-configured quest log window. You can customize these or replace them with your own, but if you replace them, make sure to add these display panel components to them. The next step, if you're using the Dialog System's quest system, is to set up the key binding. Select this key, UI Panel Quest Log Window, and go to Settings, General, Action Key List, and add a new action key. Paste in the action name, give it a display name that RPG Builder will show, and select the default key. Remember to save when you make changes in the RPG Builder window. This base dialog manager prefab points to the demo database for the integration. You can change it to your own database, but for the purpose of this video, we'll stick with this one. We've defined two actors, Human NPC and Bear Signpost. We also have two conversations, one for the Bear Signpost, and another for the NPC that handles several dialogue system quests. 
These are the quests that the conversation handles. So now we'll set up an NPC to play a dialogue system conversation. Inspect the NPC and under functions make sure the dialogue question mark checkbox is ticked. Then go to the dialogue system section and create an entry with the exact same name as in the NPCs section. For this one we'll specify that the NPC has a conversation on interaction. Select the conversation. We'll bypass the regular RPG Builder interaction conversation, and no need to pause during the conversation because our dialogue UI is already configured to pause. You can also turn that off on your dialogue UI if you like. Now we'll go to the demo scene and add the demo prefabs so that we have something to play with. We'll look at the signpost first. The signpost has a trigger collider and an interactable object set on trigger enabled. When the player enters the trigger, it'll run the dialogue system trigger component that plays the conversation bare signpost. We've also configured this signpost with a dialogue actor component that specifies to use an overhead bubble style subtitle panel. We don't need to do anything in the scene to configure the human NPC because we've configured him in the RPG Builder window already. But we can take a look at some of the game objects in this scene that his quests use. There's a loot bag that drops a hat. The NPC's first quest is to find his lost hat. So here we use a dialogue system item events component. It runs Unity events that you can configure when the player picks up or drops certain items. In this case, when the player picks up the hat, we'll set the first quest entry to success and activate the second entry, which is to return to the NPC. There's also a kill quest to kill some skeletons. Those skeletons are spawned according to this asset, which instantiates this prefab. This is a variant of the regular skeleton prefab, but I've added a combat entity event component that adds a unity event when the entity dies. Here, that unity event is configured to call an increment on destroy components try increment method to increment a quest counter. So for kill quests, use a combat entity event component and for item quests, use a dialogue system item events component. Going back to the conversation, you can see that it uses a library of RPG Builder specific Lua functions that the integration has added. Those Lua functions are all documented in the RPG Builder integration page of the online manual. So let's give this a play. Here we see the signpost, and here's the conversation. Remember, you can customize the dialogue system UIs to look any way you want. There's a whole series of tutorials on customizing dialogue UIs. Now one last thing, if you're using the Dialogue Systems Quest system, you might want to add a button on the toolbar. To do that, edit the HUD prefab, and in the Toolbar Buttons section, add a new button. Add a dialogue system quest log control component 
and configure the onClick event to call its toggle quest log window method. So now if we click that button, it'll open the quest log window. And that's it for the integration video. Remember that all regular dialog system features are available to you in your RPG Builder integration too. Thanks for watching.